டாக்டர் கே அகிலாண்டேஸ்வரி அகிலாண்டேஸ்வரி மேடம் அசோசியேட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் கவர்மெண்ட் ஆர்ட்ஸ் காலேஜ் சேலம் மேம் ஹேஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் டீச்சிங் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் அண்ட் சிக்ஸ் இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியல் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் டேட்டா மைனிங் நெட்ஒர்க் செக்யூரிட்டி அண்ட் சாஃப்ட் கம்ப்யூட்டிங் ஆர் ஹர் ஏரியா ஆஃப் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் மேம் ஹஸ் கைடட் தேர்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் எம்பிள் ஸ்காலர்ஸ் மேம் ஹஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி நைன் பப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் இன் நேஷ்னல் அஸ் வெல் அஸ் இன் இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் ஜேர்னல்ஸ் மேம் ஹஸ் அவார்டட் பெஸ்ட் பேப்பர் அவார்ட் ஃபார் ஹர் ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் மேம் ஹஸ் ஆர்கனைஸ்ட் செவரல் கான்ஃபரன்சஸ் அண்ட் ஒர்க் ஷாப்ஸ் மேம் ஹஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்டட் ஒன் ரிசர்ச் ப்ராஜெக்ட் and mam has visited uk as an academic visitor to hl university mam has recently honored by wellaller college for women e road as a renowned alumna during golden jubilee celebrations currently mam is acting as deputy controller of examination of the college on the behalf of the organizing committee w aims 2022 We heartily welcome you for the session, ma'am, and the session is yours. Yes, good morning, everyone here. Uh, thank you. First of all, thanks to uh, H- uh, HOD, uh, Dr. Shanmuga Vadivu, for uh, providing me this opportunity. And... Um, i think uh, the last session uh, was also about uh, and yeah, uh, just to go on and uh, let me just uh, present my screen so am i audible can anyone yes, say ma'am. am i audible yes. yes ma'am yes so okay so uh, the title itself says that uh, artificial intelligence is ideal solution for cyber security we know that uh, we are in a living in a technology driven uh, uh, world and uh, our life is more dependent on technology than ever before the reason the main reason is the covid pandemic uh, which we recently faced and this pandemic has uh, accelerated uh, digital transformation and uh, the result is uh, it has also amplified both uh, opportunities and risks so now these uh, are substantially more uh, um, there are substantially more remote workers so all the companies have started to have uh, workers uh, as a work from home pattern and uh, uh, as uh, because they, it is comfortable as a, a corporate it, they have learned a new lesson and a new uh, corporate style has uh, come so we have more cloud users more cloud services and uh, of course we have more threats also so the benefits of this trend uh, um, may range from uh, we have instant access to internet and we have uh, all mobile apps and uh, we have uh, uh, connected things but uh, we have uh, even we have extended up to home automation uh, technology but uh, what happens we have all the good things from the technology we we have uh, we have to also face the threats that lurk behind every device and platform so the rise in remote working create target rich environment for criminals to take advantage of so in this uh, uh, situation we are uh, we know that uh, many companies are facing cyber uh, threats uh, as a main issue in the last year uh, most of you have heard about the um many vulnerabilities like uh, uh, log for uh, and many other um, striking vulnerability dangers in uh, 2022 and uh, so in order to have a, a secure environment uh, uh, both for personal life and also for uh, uh, corporates we need to know uh, the challenges we face in cyber security uh, uh, discipline and cyber security uh, is continually challenged by hackers and um, we have also 
uh, situations have changed in cybersecurity strategies. So this is uh, the main thing because the as the technology grows, we have different strategies to fight against threats. So uh, the number of attackers is not expected to uh, reduce. Cyber attacks is not expected to reduce, even though we have several research innovations or uh, improvements in cybersecurity or the uh, different ways of handling cybersecurity, it is not going to reduce. The number is not going to reduce because uh, 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 it is all proportional, uh, directly proportional. When you increase the um, cyber sec security strategies by, uh, by uh, having good risk management techniques, uh, the hackers also uh, become more no, uh, have more knowledge base and they also have um, uh, uh, many ent new entry points to get into uh, networks and uh, we have again uh, increased number of uh, cyber threats so as the technologies emerge new attack avenues are also developed this we need to have it in our mind and we need to think about solutions for uh, cyber security uh, uh, which can act independently so as the global threat landscape is changing internet consumers now face different threats it is threats are all not uh, within a set uh, we always have a uh, maybe uh, increased threat uh, vectors and we have threat uh, uh, new threats coming into the um, uh, field and we have to face existing threats and also we have to act on immediately uh, to act or respond to new threats so we have uh, threats in the sense we have different classes of threats and we need to have different techniques for handling each one of those so uh, you have uh, uh, botnets and the uh, social engineering threats like uh, phishing and the uh, internet uh, iot is giving us more uh, avenues for the um, hackers to get into our uh, um, uh, into the industry or uh, uh, home uh, home environments so in iot we need to talk about the less uh, uh, vulnerable or less protected uh, uh, devices like ip cameras and internet attached storage devices it has less threat profile and uh, the malicious actors target them and uh, it, it will give a way to get into the main network. So at the same time, mobile devices, we, uh, we call uh, mobile phones, we include all mobile phones, tablets and watches also including uh, for this. And uh, it is all, they also face different uh, threat profile. So uh, already we have cyber security st strategies already before, even uh, when, uh, when, we, when the industry uh, uh, didn't use that artificial intelligence uh, for cyber cyber security uh, strategies. Uh, we had uh, a plain uh, automated uh, tools for handling uh, cyber threats. So uh, we call that as automated cyber security. And now we have uh, artificial intelligence powered cyber security, or we can generally call AI uh, cyber security. So uh, what, uh, what is the main difference between the uh, automated uh, cyber security and uh, AI uh, and automated uh, cyber security? So automated cyber security, yes, it can also detect uh, uh, threats and it can secure your network or devices from the, uh, from the hackers. But uh, it, 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 it will always look into a signature-based uh, deduction, which means that it will have a class, a certain classes of threats and it will try to find uh, the as and when the threat comes, it will look into the set and find out which uh, threat has come and how to deal with it. But the situation is now different every day. New, uh, the attackers give us new threat and uh, it is getting into uh, uh, directly to industry. So how to uh, get uh, um, uh, solutions for the new threats? That is the challenge which we are uh, facing. And that's why we need artificial intelligence for cybersecurity to, to have automate uh, uh, threat detection and uh, respond more efficiently and traditional software driven approaches uh, the four 
key ways with the AI technologies is uh, uh, the first one is machine learning capabilities. This is very common and we have uh, uh, most uh, almost all of us have uh, experienced uh, uh, the machine learning type of of uh, uh, cyber security features in simply with the uh, email concepts like email banking and many other web services so this uh, main uh, the machine learning capabilities help identify patterns so uh, they take uh, inventory of uh, new assets and services and refine performance of ai models so next is uh, reasoning capabilities, help inform data analysis, enhance the scenario modeling, and anticipate new attack vectors. This is the second uh, advancement or second level. And the next is uh, natural language processing can be used to mine text data sources, and improve threat intelligence, and enrich knowledge sources. Next one is automation with the help of uh, um, uh, all new uh, algorithms or uh, uh, novel bringing novelty in the algorithms or having hybridization to improve response time and reduce burden for human analysis. So uh, because as the security threats, the scale is now beyond the human analysis. So uh, using uh, uh, artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning, uh, in high volume data streams can help improve cybersecurity in three main categories. So the first category, first one, we need to detect and then respond. So uh, the third one is common, you have a human augmentation. So these AI platforms can analyze data and recognize known threats as well as predict novel threats. This is what uh, the expected one because uh, novel threats are reaching as uh, so with the great pace. So uh, the components of AI uh, which helps us in uh, uh, cybersecurity is very common and it is learning, reasoning and self-correction. So uh, we know that uh, these are uh, uh, components which we can apply to any other field, but uh, the self-correction ability is what uh, matters with the cybersecurity strategies. Uh, the subsets which we can apply for uh, cybersecurity is, uh, uh, as I told, machine learning and uh, neural networks, deep learning and expert systems. Um, see, uh, we know that uh, cybersecurity uh, with intel artificial intelligence is going to give us great benefit. But uh, uh, as we uh, we are uh, concentrating on how to identify new threats and how to respond to new threats, this is what uh, the challenge given to uh, the AI component. Uh, the type of attacks what we face today uh, or uh, can be classified under these uh, uh, categories like uh, advanced mal malware and insider threats. Uh, this is more dangerous and transaction frauds, which uh, common public uh, is um, facing and um, uh, encrypted attacks, uh, data exfiltration and the exploitation of runtime application, acquisition of accounts, a network lateral movement. So these are the different types of attacks uh, to which uh, the attackers or we call that as hackers can get into. And uh, they, uh, the attackers can be classified into two. They, uh, some of them, they may want to just to prove themselves and get into cybersecurity market. So this, they will try try and uh, uh, focus on even big corporates, uh, even uh, Microsoft and uh, uh, Microsoft, Apple and Facebook have also faced this in the last two years. So they just want to hack and show their talent and uh, 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 and now it, it gives us uh, gives the market a great strategy uh, to find out solution for those hackers. So we the industries are now working on zero day uh, cyber uh, protection and uh, the hackers are also uh, focusing on giving threats on zero day uh, threats like uh, zero day threats which uh, will give the cyber uh, cyber security professionals zero day to 
uh, uh, to get into normal work again after responding to threats and uh, after give, uh, maybe with the help of patches or uh, uh, some remedial actions. So the the the, uh, the the hackers give us zero day. That is the point uh, we need to have artificial intelligence in a higher level with some hybrid techniques uh, to uh, work along with the hackers to uh, actually uh, protect the networks so the uh, we need to uh, uh, th these are the some uh, techniques which we need to have it in our mind before getting into the um, actual algorithms so uh, the, in the past what happened is we have uh, uh, malware uh, samples and they analyzed and added a malware list uh, by the researchers at the cyber security companies. The so industry still uses this approach, but it is acting more pro proactively, especially with regard to social engineering threats. Because uh, uh, in uh, before, li like uh, a decade ago, uh, the cyber threats were uh, actually target uh, where the, the industries were the main targets. The networks in which the industries work or the main targets but now the hackers have different motive even money is a uh, 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 is behind and social engineering engineering is a uh, easiest way for the hackers to uh, earn money or uh, uh, have a benefit so this social engineering uh, threats or are, uh, are either now exactly of, uh, open for the researchers to have uh, uh, better solutions because it is now the trend uh, for the researchers and the uh, uh, machine learning or AI algorithms are not a one-stop solution for all security concerns they are incredibly useful for rapid automating decision making process and inferring patterns from incomplete and changed data so first uh, the algorithm these algorithms work by first learning from the real world data so we uh, uh, getting a real world data is the uh, difficult part for the cyber security professionals or the ai developers but uh, uh, I see the many uh, Facebook applications are coming on without even knowing uh, for for what we are uploading photos or for what we are responding we do give some uh, data uh, free of cost like uh, uh, earlier uh, at, I think uh, two years ago we had a great trend uh, by giving us a, a 10 year challenge photographs on the Facebook uh, so we gave photos uh, now and then like we will be uh, the users Facebook users posted photos like now and then 10 years ago this was the uh, uh, the, the the Facebook had tremendous um, uh, support from the uh, users to get a a uh, very vast data set in which they had uh, 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 image processing techniques and by which we have uh, uh, Facebook or uh, they are giving so many applications uh, for out of the images which we, which they received through that simple game like uh, uh, post. And uh, countering cybersecurity threats for AI tomorrow, AI, uh, AI cybersecurity has possibility to alert users before they access suspicious websites, including phishing sites. So uh, Google is uh, powered with AI, and uh, we have uh, uh, we we uh, if you work if you, if you see intentionally, you can know uh, how best uh, AI is uh, used by uh, Google and uh, the phishing sites you can uh, it uh, it is uh, nowadays most of the uh, browsers uh, most of the search engines are uh, having uh, a, a support for um, alerting users uh, before getting into phishing sites and social engineering attacks usually result in most damage and uh, loss of privacy and finances for consumers and also the cloud user cloud-based AI driven cyber security also has key feature that uh, goes beyond standard antivirus and firewalls mm -hmm. so uh, initially we may think that what 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 uh, what are the roles of antiviruses and firewalls when we need to bringing in AI driven cyber security but it is the the, uh, the threats are going beyond that level and we need to have cloud-based AI driven cyber security 
So we know we have to know about the, some early AI adapters. Google, I, as I told, uh, Google has used machine learning techniques to filter emails since its launch 18 years ago. So today there are applications for uh, of machine learning and almost all of its services, especially through deep learning, which allow algorithms to do more dependent adjustments and self-regulation. This is the uh, uh, best uh, um, uh, outcome of using uh, uh, deep learning uh, by Google. And uh, this is what um, um, a research team at Google uh, has given a term. Before we were in the world where more data you had, more problems you had. So when you want to introduce deep learning based uh, AI, secu AI security for security, uh, we need to have more data. So uh, scarcity in data uh, will lead to poor performance in the uh, models. So uh, in our days, more data is uh, better, um, especially in deep learning, the more data it is always better. This is what the comments given by Google and also IBM. So a lot of work that is happening in the security operation center today is a routine or repetitive. So we know that security operations, uh, uh, the main task, uh, major tasks in their uh, wing is all routine and repetitive. So what if we can automate some of those using machine learning? This was the uh, words given by the uh, president and chief uh, CTO of uh, IBM. And uh, why do we need AI cybersecurity? And uh, as I told you, we when you go for simple or uh, automated uh, cybersecurity, the rule-based uh, detection systems for handling of false positive results while handling attacks is essential. We need to think of uh, think about this. So next is hunting of threats efficiently. Uh, we need to look for new threats. So it is not only uh, uh, say uh, pro pro protecting uh, networks or devices from known threats. Hunting for new threats is also important. Uh, complete analysis of threat incidents and investigations. This is essential for the cybersecurity professionals to uh, to improve their uh, security standards and threat forecasting. This is also an important area in which uh, uh, we need to work on uh, forecasting. Uh, to have better security features for the uh, so for the environment uh, and retrieve the affected systems, examine the root causes of the attack and improve the security system. Yes, we uh, as the uh, hackers are also advancing uh, and also using advanced technologies like even AI are used by the hackers. We need to, we will have a situation like uh, um, what uh, uh, log uh, log for uh, entered a vulnerability we had it in uh, 2022 February and uh, this uh, uh, we need in such a situation we need to retrieve from the affected systems examine the root causes maybe with a simple patches you can continue or get back the get back to work and uh, uh, this is what the A learns mm -hmm. More over time, AI technology is intelligent. As I told you, it is intelligent. Machine learning and deep learning uh, are used to learn business networks' behavior. And it, in the, what happens? It, it, it uh, recognizes the patterns on the network and clusters them. So uh, we, we are applying um, most of the uh, uh, data science uh, uh, areas to have, as you have plenty of. Um, data and now you can apply uh, data science uh, along with cyber security new uh, terms a term is coined in the industry like uh, cyber security data science uh, so, so we have uh, we can apply all such things and uh, the hybridization of many of the a algorithms successful algorithms will provide us uh, good uh, uh, outcomes so uh, we are uh, how AI improves cyber security. So let us see one by one. So threat hunting. So conventional security tools use signatures or attack indicators to identify threats. 
this technique can easily identify previously discovered threats so this is this we call that as automated cyber security will do this so however signature based tools cannot detect threats that have been discovered yet in fact they can identify only 90% of the threats ai can increase the detection rate of traditional techniques up to 95% and when you merge conventional and uh, uh, innovative uh, you can have uh, detection rates up to uh, 100% and uh, vulnerability management is the second major impact and ai and machine learning techniques can improve the vulnerability management capabilities for the databases and uh, the main uh, area we need to concentrate is ueba which is user behavior and server endpoints and uh, uh, this tools uh, will indicate the unknown attack so this is for inside intruders maybe inside intruders are the main target for such tools and this uh, uh, can help protect organizations even before vulnerabilities are officially reported and patched so it identifies weak points in the computer system and business networks and help businesses focus on important security tasks as i told you this user behavior modeling so malicious users uh, uh, disguised as a user penetrate the system and gain access to corporate networks in technically legal ways which means that the trial is challenging to detect and stop so ai based uh, cyber security systems can recognize the behavior patterns of uh, specific users to detect changes in their behavior patterns in other words the technology notifies the security team when this happens so conventional network security techniques focus on two main aspects policies and network environment so security policies can help you distinguish between legitimate and malicious network connections so policies can also enforce zero trust model the environment uh, uh, the second aspect is environment. Most organizations don't have precise naming conversions for applications and workloads. That is the issue here. So A can enhance a network security by learning the patterns of a network traffic and recommending both security policies and functional workload grouping. So A can monitor and optimize critical data center processes like power consumption, backup power, internal temperature, bandwidth usage, directly getting into uh, uh, operational uh, technology. And uh, AI provides uh, insights into what values can improve the security and effectiveness of data center infrastructure. So as we know, we have uh, uh, OT and IT, uh, this type of uh, uh, environments in uh, manufacturing or production tech, tech, uh, production companies uh, AI is essential for uh, monitoring uh, data center uh, next important uh, research area is battling uh, uh, bots so bo uh, bots may make up a huge chunk of uh, internet traffic today and uh, they can be dangerous and AI and machine learning help build a thorough understanding of website traffic and distinguish between good bots like uh, search engines, bad bots and even humans. A enables us to analyze vast amount of data and allow cyber security teams to adopt your strategies. Uh, and uh, next is uh, breach risk prediction. So A system help determine the IT asset inventory which is an accurate and detailed record of all devices users. We know that cybersecurity is a discipline which uh, keeps track of all devices, users, and applications in order to have, a, uh, have a protection through uh, various security standards. And uh, the AI-based systems can predict how and where you are most likely to be compromised so that you can plan and allocate resources towards areas of more vulnerabilities. 
So uh, predict uh, prescriptive insights from AI-based analysis enables to configure more controls and process to reinforce your cyber resilience. Uh, now, next, uh, better endpoint protection. Protection. We know that we have uh, increased endpoints uh, uh, because of the uh, I, in, IoT in, uh, introduced in all uh, uh, sort of industries. Uh, so uh, the number of devices used for uh, working remotely is fast increasing. A has a crucial role to play in securing all those endpoints. So A driven uh, endpoint protection uh, takes a different tact. Uh, by establishing a baseline of behavior uh, for the endpoint through a repeated training process. So if something out of the ordinary occurs, uh, which is uh, not in the given uh, uh, list of behaviors, A can flag it and, uh, and respond it. And uh, whether that's, uh, that is sending a notification or even uh, uh, you can have uh, automated patchworks. So this provides proactive uh, protection against threats rather than waiting for signature updates and uh, securing authentication nowadays uh, google or gmail or any most of the uh, email uh, uh, applications are giving us uh, uh, secured authentication and uh, a secures authentication anytime a user wants to log into their account it uses various tools such as facial recognition, CAPTCHA, and fingerprint scanners, among other others for identification. These are the, the uh, next level of authentication. Uh, we have uh, almost three uh, level authentication for uh, many of our uh, email applications. The, uh, the information collected by these features can help to detect if a login attempt is genuine or not. Hackers use credentials stuffing and brute force attacks to access company networks once an attacker enters a user account the whole network could be at risk so having good authentication with the help of ai is essential and uh, uh, why cyber security um, has to be powered with the ai uh, be, uh, because it can handle lots of uh, data. An average mid sized company itself has a huge traffic. So the data needs protection from malicious people and software. So we need to protect data. Uh, as the uh, even mid sized companies, as I told you, mid sized company has huge traffic. So even, uh, but then cybersecurity uh, personnel cannot check all the traffic for possible threats. So the, it is beyond the human uh, um, uh, human uh, scaling level. And uh, uh, AI is the best solution that will help you to detect any threats, the threats uh, masked as normal activity. So its automated nature allows to skim through massive chunks of data and traffic. So the nature of AI itself uh, helps us to have protect, protection in the traffic. So uh, technology that uses AI, uh, such as residential proxy, can help you to transfer data. So uh, as uh, um, uh, cyber AI is powered with uh, uh, cyber security, we have analytic solutions for enterprises. So the first is uh, perspective analytics, which uh, determines uh, the, which gives a determination of actions required for analysis or response. This is the base analytics. Next is diagnostic analytics, evaluation of root cause analysis and modus operandi of the incidents and attacks. So uh, this is first level. And uh, this is the uh, AI today and predictive analytics, determination of higher risk users and assets in the future and the likelihood of upcoming threats. So predict predictive analytics is essential for cybersecurity and detective analytics uh, recognition of hidden unknown threats bypass threats advanced malware and lateral movement uh, so uh, this is for high level of security and descriptive analytics for obtaining the current status and performance of the metrics and trends so all these are the analytic solutions for the enterprises. Uh, 
uh, for uh, in, in AI cyber security. So AI powered risk management approach to cyber security. So we need to have right collection of data and representation of uh, learning application and machine learning customization, cyber threat analysis, model security problem. The mission and equipment that may have been attacked to prevent, identify and prevent the potential new threats. So these are the different approaches and uh, in each we have uh, research problems in each one of these uh, risk management approaches. Uh, what cybersecurity executives think about AI? So uh, before selecting the right approach for giving um, um, cybersecurity uh, uh, with AI-powered AI cybersecurity, we need to know about uh, uh, certain things which industries expect. And Cape Gemini Research Institute analyzed the role of AI in cybersecurity, and the, uh, the report titled title is Reinventing Cybersecurity with Artificial Intelligence. It AI is urgent for modern enterprises, so we cannot leave AI to have better security standards. And uh, and the survey it is not a simple survey. It it did uh, the survey was done with uh, cybersecurity professionals. Uh, um, and uh, which were who the professionals who directly uh, who were directly connected to uh, IT infrastructure. So it uh, the take, main takeaways from the survey report is a allows organization to respond faster to breaches. This is important. Protection against breaches is uh, uh, the main aim, but responding faster. Whenever we have breaches, we need to respond faster uh, to breaches. And 69% of the organization think AI is necessary to respond to cyber attacks. Three in five firms say that using AI improves the accuracy and efficiency of cyber analysis. And uh, so artificial intelligence for identifying online threats. So it is essential to understand all the elements involved in the network topography and provide genuinely high network security. Managing security for the corporate uh, networks includes the connection requests are legitimate. We have to determine whether the connection requests are legitimate and attempting to exploit unusual con uh, connection behavior. So as we have intruders in everywhere, we have inside intruders also. So uh, managing the security of networks is important, understanding the connection request, whether the con connection requests are legitimate. Uh, we need to have uh, 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 user event-based uh, security standards for identifying that. The challenge is to determine whether which parts of an application, be it in the web, mobile app platforms, or applications in development, testing, it might be malicious. So these are uh, some of the techniques which can be applied with uh, uh, machine learning and deep learning for helping cybersecurity. The first is classification. So if this is a base one. We need to classify threats. The threat classification is a uh, uh, is a most uh, common research problem in nowadays. And uh, uh, for determining whether the security event is reliable or not, or belonging belongs to a group or not. So the algorithms which can be applied are like uh, naive Bayesian uh, instance-based algorithm, uh, algorithms, KNN, SVM. Many classification algorithms can be applied for it. Regression, uh, determination of trends in security events, as well as prediction of the behavior of machines and users. So we can apply uh, linear regression, logistic regression, uh, and multivariate regression. All these algorithms can be applied. And uh, the common uh, deep learning uh, uh, created automated system based on past actions for hunting attacks. So uh, deep belief networks are commonly used uh, for this. And pattern matching, detection of malicious patterns and indicators in large data sets. So entropy functions are uh, common for it. And uh, association rules, alerting after detecting similar attackers and attacks. 
a priori and the clustering and we have determination of outlier and anomaly creation of peer groups of machines and users so we have k-means clustering and hierarchical clustering suitable for it and uh, cyber security presents unique challenges we have vast attack surface tens of hundreds of thousands uh, thousands of devices per organization are prone to attack uh, and hundreds of attack vectors and we have shortfall in the number of uh, skilled security professional masses of data that have moved beyond a human scale problem so with these challenges we need to power cyber security with artificial intelligence so uh, the first basic uh, thing we which we can do is uh, we can understand machine learning use cases in cyber security so uh, using machine learning for securing mobile endpoints uh, and a uh, few other cases like uh, antivirus software and malware detection and machine learning for email monitoring uh, machine learning for uh, protection against bots and uh, machine learning for network threat detection and also a based threat mitigation so when you look at uh, google google is using machine learning in uh, of, for securing uh, mobile devices uh, wandera a secure cyber security space leader uses machine learning algorithm and they detected 500 ransomware strains in the different companies uh, within the short period of uh, two to three years and uh, apple's siri google assistant amazon's alexa or uh, personal ai driven assistants they have significant responsibilities of securing the voice based commands using machine learning and um, after uh, uh, analyzing millions of malware types the newest and most powerful antivirus software is created so we have a uh, few uh, a models uh, which is uh, commonly which can be commonly applied for cyber security so logistic regression as i told you uh, uh, this a model can provide binary results the suitability is because of its nature and it is a statistical method used to predict probability of events by considering Excuse historical me, sorry for the disturbance so, um, ma'am your screen a, is not visible a, a model Excuse me, your presentation screen is not visible if it's the field of cyber, whether an email is spam or not so easier uh, to hello any any problem in my voice is it audible ma'am you were audible but your ah, yeah. presentation screen is not visible visible so something is there this is it okay Network is cut. It's working. How long it is not visible? I don't know. Just for ten minutes, ma'am. Last ten minutes. Oh. Okay. 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 So, um, 
just this is an uh, image for logistic regression. So this uh, AI model benefits the field of cybersecurity to predict uh, whether an email is spam or not. So decision trees, this is the simplest uh, AI model used in cybersecurity. It is a binary tree consisting of yes or no decision at each split until it gets to the resulting node. This AI model is easy to implement and does not require data normalization. To solve several cybersecurity issues, this algorithm can help intrusion reduction systems to understand signatures and classify events in the network. So uh, we have a NAVE base, and this is a simple and robust model for solving vast uh, range of complex problems. This model can uh, determine two types of probabilities, the chance of each class appearing and the condition like likelihood for a standalone class uh, given an additional capacity for data classification uh, usage is so common in the random forest this is a tree like a are two such areas uh, where deep learning has shown significant improvements and uh, we have uh, deep learning based neural nets this deep learning based neural nets are uh, getting used in user and in uh, uh, entity behavior analytics madam sorry to interrupt you yes madam sorry to interrupt yes you. yes sir hello so, sir i think uh, i think you have a network issue oh let me check, sir. So, okay. kindly uh, share your slides. Disconnect. Ma'am. Immediate updates. Kindly share your, <laughs> kindly share your uh, PPT, ma'am. Okay. Is it visible now? Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Is it visible? No, ma'am. <laughs> Your screen is completely black. Now it is visible back. You can see your screen, ma'am. Is it visible? Yes, ma'am. We can see your screen. Hello? Okay. I don't know what's happening. So uh, the deep learning based neural networks, uh, we have deviation, when we have deviations from the baselines, which are triggered as anomalies, we, uh, we need alerts. So that are to be investigated by the security anal uh, analysts. And UEBA enhanced the deduction of insider threats. 
So deep learning based systems are used to detect many other types of anomalies. So where exactly uh, the AI cybersecurity is essential? Generally, automated environments will overlap IT, that is information technology, And to do that, but today attackers access the rest of the network too or take plant equipment offline. So, IT in OT risk management mentioned above the a part of the system generally writes a solution ot management software uh, continually runs on man manufacturing plant arrangements uh, change systems use known malware for antivirus lists to try and find the entry route into the system. The task requires automated, repetitive uh, functions of the complex system. This means it, it is perfect for AI. Stage where A is fighting for A threats. Today, for the security of the companies, it is crucial to increase the deduction of cyber threats because that can penetrate corporate networks, thus deploying a software, software to defend against AI hacking protocols. Over the past several years, companies around the world have come under plus automation, a better environment <coughs> and a better performance. Well, AI powers powers automation, the solutions are more powerful. The combination of AI threats such as zero days, threat uh, hunting and forensics. So security analysts provide a solution smarter but also more human friendly security. So we have resources, limitations, resources, organization needs. Uh, have uh, security companies need to use more different data sets, voluminous data sets uh, of anomalies and malware codes to train AI system. The more data, more performance, good performance. So ha hackers also use AI. This is a point we need to uh, have it in our mind to improve and enhance the malware. AI advanced attacks by learning from the existing AI tools. So neural fuzzing is used to detect software vulnerabilities by testing large amounts of random input data. So use A wherever you, uh, you need automated repetitive tasks. A also helps make decisions on complex tasks. That's why many cybersecurity solutions providers use A. And in fact, uh, these providers tool help meet the challenge of highly complex systems that have poor security standards and AI functionality is great for classifying data using intelligent operations that's why we can uh, speed up our uh, uh, search for malware and cyber security is also beneficial for finding abnormal use of the network so uh, the AI intelligence refers to the AI's error tolerance and decision layers so in theory we used to have uh, many layers as needed to make uh, an intelligent AI However, training it with data to reach a high tolerance level could be the process intensive. So this is a, uh, we have a drawback with the uh, hardware requirement and this training may also take too long to produce. As a result, the solution becomes ineffective. 
So to conclude, AI is fast emerging as a must-to-have technology for enhancing the performance of IT security teams. Humans can no longer scale to sufficiently secure an enterprise level attack surface and AI gives a much needed analysis and threat identification that can be used for security professionals. So in order to minimize the breach risk and enhance security posture, moreover, AIs can help discover prioritize risk, risk uh, incident response and identify malware attacks. So even with the potential downsides, AI will serve to drive cybersecurity forward and help organizations create more robust security posture. AI allows cybersecurity teams to form powerful human machine partnership that push the boundaries of our knowledge and enrich our technology driven lives. Thank you. Hello, Dr. Akila, good afternoon. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. How are you? Nice to see you, ma'am, here. Yes, yes. Fine, ma'am. Yeah, same here, and it was, uh, it's a, it was a wonderful session. Like, with all clarity, Thank we you. explained everything, and um, we're happy that we were able to get your support also when conducting this five-day webinar. And as always, like this was also a wonderful session from you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for the opportunity. So participants, uh, please raise your questions uh, because this is one of the hot cakes in cybersecurity. So 